Welcome back YouTubers. What I thought I'd do is a video on charging my power wall using solar. So what I've done is um, I've got three solar panels that are left over from the main house installation which was um, 4.8 kilowatts on the house. That was made up of 20 uh, 240 volt solar panels. Now out of that um, when I purchased the solar panels I purchased them in a pallet because it was cheaper to buy brand new solar panels in a pallet or on a pallet than it is to buy them individually. Um, so what I did was I've got three left over. Uh, what I'm planning to do was put those on the garage roof. Now I've got a garage roof um, that is 10 meters uh, long by about 2 meters deep so that will give me easy enough room to put six solar panels up there but to start with what I'm going to do is I'm going to utilize the three that I've got. The other thing that I've um, I've found it hard was to find a MPPT solar charge controller that was capable of around 83 volts or even 85 volts. They seem to always, they seem to only go up to 48 volt um, systems which is what the 54 volt or somewhere around there um, max and that causes a problem when you're trying to charge up to 83 volts. So what I've done is I've, I've looked on the internet a couple of good reviews that, were ca that came out um, of the cheaper unit which is one of these. Now I've ordered two of these, um, it's not going to really come up very well on the, on the video I don't think, um, it's not even in focus, but I'll put the link to the description down below. Um, so this is the MPT um, 7210A, so it's meant to be 10 amps um, on the output I think, um, I will have to double check that. But either way, um, they say that you can put up to 600 watts of solar panels on this. They say it's MPPT. Um, a couple of reviews say yes it is MPPT. It seems to have a small issue around the um, clouding. So when the, the voltage, or when, the, the, when there's quite a bit of change on the input, um, it affects um, the output quite dramatically and it doesn't recover quick enough. So a normal MPPT um, solar charge controller will recover quite quickly when the um, as a cloud goes over as the voltage drops on the solar panels um, the recovery time is quite quick however looking at some reviews on this one the um, the recovery time um, seems to it seems to kind of halt it um, so we'll find out what actually happens um, the other thing is, is that a lot of testing on this when looking at reviews um, has been on much much smaller solar panels so um, I've only got 240 watt solar panels, so and now 1.6 meters um, long. So we're going to be testing those of this with those two. Um, now the the solar panels I've got are 30 volts um, on the output. That means that I could obviously have one of these um, one per solar panel. What I would really really like is two solar panels per one of these. Um, so I might need a total of three of these for six top solar panels. That would mean that the solar panels are in series. The problem with that though is that um, it's going to be um, more than 60 volts, potentially 61 volts or somewhere around there. Now this, like most boost converters, um, this is pretty much based upon the boost converter um, um, design. The issue is, is that the, the input is always uh, appears to be 60 volts max. So that might cause a bit of a problem but what I'm thinking about is that if I put them in series 230 volt or 230.1 volts will add up but the voltage across the um, the cable will drop that down slightly so I might have 0.5 of a volt drop um, but what I'll do is I'll at least get the solar panels out they're currently um, in the corner been packed away for the last year so it'd be good to actually um, get them to see some sun um, test that the solar panels actually work because they've been sitting around for a while um, and connect it up to one of these and see what happens. So we'll start off with just connecting one solar panel up to this and then we'll see if we can put it in series and see if we get maybe an over voltage protection limit or something on there or if it goes bang or we'll just see what happens. Um, I was thinking I won't be able to put them in parallel. Um, they, the solar panels are around 30 volts. I'll, I'll put the, um, the camera on the, the tag in a second but the output of the solar panels is 8.6 volts, or so 8.6 amps. So putting two of those together in parallel will give me around 16, maybe 17 at times. Um, and that would be too much for the input of this to handle. Um, looking at the connections on this, uh, I really doubt they'd be able to handle anything more than 10 amps. So if I could put them in series, that would be good. I would hate to kind of have six of these. Um, it would just be a bit annoying, even though these are really relatively cheap. These are also the only charge, uh, the only MPPT chargers that I can seem to find that support um, up to 90 volts. 
so I, I don't know the exact limit I haven't turned this one on yet I'm pretty sure it's over 90 volts but what I'll do is we'll try and connect two of them in uh, two solar panels in series and we'll see if that gives us um, 60 volts or just under 60 volts with about five meters of um, of cable length so I ended up purchasing 20 meters of cable uh, which is going to be um, way more than I need and hopefully do the job for each of them. Um, if I find that I only need, uh, I can only have one of these per 200 watt solar panel, um, then that just may be the case. Now you can, just like any other boost converter, you can put them parallel. So that's in, that will end up being, uh, being what I'm going to do. Um, so it would be nice to just use three rather than six of these. So let's see what happens. Um, let's put 240 watts of solar panel into this. Let's see if it turns on. Um, and then let's try and put two of them in series and hopefully not hit the um, over voltage on the input protection. So yeah, I'll, um, I'll just show what the solar panels are. Right, so this is what the solar panel specs are. This is obviously the same panels as the main house. Um, so 240, volt, uh, 240 watts, 30.5 volts. So it was pretty close to what I was saying before. Um, and we have a current M, uh, Pmax of 7.8. Eight, six. So, yeah, that 7.86 would be times 2 if we put those in parallel. Um, so, with the 30.5, the idea would be to put them in series, which will give me 60.1. But because we should have a bit of a voltage drop across the cable once we get a length of about 5 meters, um, hopefully that'll get it to around 60 volts or just under, and hopefully there's a bit of a buffer, in which case we could put two of these solar panels per um, one of those green boxes. So yeah this is kind of what it looks like, it is quite big um, but it's obviously 240 watts. So this is the same dimensions as actually the 250 watt solar panels. They run the same um, the same dimensions. So what I'll do now is I'll grab the next one out. They're, they've even packed away so they've got kind of crap all over them. So I'll get this out and I'll stick it outside in the um, on the grass unfortunately it's about to rain and um, it's just difficult but what I'd like to do is at least um, see if the, um, the MPPT does actually turn on so we'll put some ends on some cables connect it up and see what happens right so what we've got in this kind of mess here um, was we've got the cable um, I've just stripped the ends off it so this is proper solar PV cable this is the 4 mil um, solar PV cable which is um, all you need for um, for less than 10 amps so um, I think this is actually handles up to 16 amps at the top of my head um, and up to 600 volts so this is the proper the DC cable that goes on the roof normally so what I've got is some uh, MC4 connectors um, so I'll, what I'll do is I'll quickly solder these up I'm trying to do this as quickly as possible before we lose sun so I'll solder these up off camera um, and connect it up and then bring the camera back Right, so back again. So what I've done, this has actually turned out pretty professional, which is fantastic. Um, I'm not too sure how well you actually see this, so I'll bring it up to here in the camera. Um, so I've shrink wrapped some ends on one end, I've put the MC4 connectors on the other end, and um, we're all ready to go. So let's um, let's plug it in and see if it turns on. Um, the other thing is, is that on this, the, um, the lighting's really bad. Um, on this, you have to have a long screwdriver that fits through those holes um, just and um, these pieces of plastic that which are holding the um, the screw mounts and um, are slightly not even so we're going to see how well this fits um, hence I put some shrink wrap on here just to keep the connections apart while they're inside that something like that so um yeah while it's still light let's uh, let's go plug it in right so if we come outside what I've done is I've kind of put these solar panels on the grass out here um, I've connected one of them up, um, it's kind of in the sun, um, where the sun is is kind of over there, um, so it's not really in the best bit of sun, um, it's not even in the right angle, um, it's got some shading on it, um, I could potentially fix that but it's under this old clothesline here, um, but all we really want to do is just see if this um, MPPT actually works, um, so with that one solar panel connected, uh, what I've got is I've, I'm using the, um, the 20 meter cable so I haven't cut it so if I come through here and I've just turned this on and I've no idea really how to use it but I've set the um, solar voltage to be 30 volts or 30.5 um, volts I've set this to be 83 
the battery. I've set it to be 9 amps, so if I turn it off you'll see what I've actually set it to. The 83 up to 9 amps and that's all really I've done so I don't know really how to use it but we'll, we'll figure it out in a minute. So if I turn it on um, we should see that increase and I'll just see how long it takes. So our solar panel voltage is quite high so maybe we won't be able to actually put two of these panels in series um, unfortunately. The other thing I've done is I've <laughs> I put the wrong shrink wrap around the wrong colour. So that's a bit and of a pain. cloud we have pretty poor um, solar output. Um, so just looking at this what I've done is I've set this up so that if I turn this off it'll make more sense. So the solar panel voltage is actually quite high. The battery voltage I've set to 83 volts, 9 amps which is never going to get to but let's just say it's at 9 amps. Um, and it or we might actually get to it on a cold day um, and that's really all the settings I've changed because I don't really know um, how to use this thing yet. Um, the other thing is I've just taken off the side panel mainly because the, if I just grab the side panel, the edges of the cutout almost kind of, they look like they're going to be touching the, um, the shrink wrap on here and I don't really want it to short against the, so this actually needs to be uh, wider so I might have to recut these wider if this thing works well. Um, to, to fit these cables with the, the shrink wrap in there far enough so that they're not actually going to rub and um, then short. So if I turn this back on again, it, the sun is still behind a cloud so that's not very really handy. Um, but I need to put this back together really because otherwise the circuit board inside does move as you can see there. Um, so if I have this in a position that the cables aren't going to pull it and move it. Um, it seems to take a good 20 seconds to ramp up, which it's kind of doing now. Um, the sun is, is still pretty poor. Um, but maybe I'm not going to be able to get two panels in series because that voltage is going to be well over 60 volts. Which is going to be a bit unfortunate. Now I have ordered two of these, this is the first one, so I do have another one coming, so that'll give us one per solar panel. But maybe, I don't know, maybe these things won't be able to handle um, more than 240 watts on continuous anyway. So maybe it's just hopeful to have uh, two in series. Though I could try parallel I guess, but we'll have to see what it does in the sun uh, when the sun's at its peak and on a nice sunny day where it's not cloudy like it is now. So I'll just cut the video and we'll come back in a minute. Right, so I've just moved the solar panel, so it's kind of out of the way of the, um, the shade. Um, it's really late in the afternoon, so I'm kind of just getting a little bit of sun there. Um, but now we've got much better power coming out of it. So it seems to be sitting pretty well at 120 watts currently. So out of a 240 watt panel, not really good angle and the sun's all the way down. Um, that's not too bad. Um, this particular, I know this particular model um, had quite a bit of issues, as I was mentioning before, around the shading and, and dropping out all the time. But this particular one seems to be doing pretty well. I haven't experienced any of those issues so far while testing in the last 40 minutes or so. Um, it's been pretty rock solid. The, as the cloud comes over, it, it drops all the way down. In fact, maybe that's one of the issues just there where it dropped all the way down and, and lost itself. Um, now the answer to this, um, this issue, maybe with, which is exactly what other people are experiencing, um, what I've done is I've done some research on that and it, it seems to be changing the, um, the three um, capacitors that are on there, which I think are the, the N filtering capacitors there, um, changing them from the 470s down to 10. Um, and putting three of them there um, solves the problem, or at least improves the problem. So I have to give that a go, but unfortunately it's just got really shady once again. So I'm not hoping that it'll actually go back up again because the sun is actually behind the, the cloud looking out at the driveway. So I can't really do too much more testing today. Um, obviously um, it's really late in the afternoon. 
Um, however, tomorrow is meant to be raining, and the day after that, I think, is sunny. So hopefully, when it gets sunny again, in the meantime, what I'll do is I will um, I'll try and mount this somewhere. I'll try and cut out those other things, and um, at least have it a bit more um, in a more stable position, and do some better testing. Great, thanks, guys.